Yeah, the water is starting to heat up a little bit. Um, so I'd estimate it's probably about sort of 50 degrees C in there at the moment. I've actually covered the terminals and the one at the bottom with uh, a bit of rubber tubing from a bicycle tube. Uh, it's the 700C bike tube, the only thing I really had lying around. Not sure how it's going to hold up in the environment, but I will be ordering some uh, chemical resistant PVC tubing when I get a chance. Uh, I'm also thinking of covering the outside of the plates with uh, some acrylic as per the Zero Fossil Fuels guy rather than putting heat shrink around the whole unit. Okay, um, she's drawing about 9 amps at the moment. Okay, this is the container that I'll be using. Um, just purchased it from a local store. Uh, the good thing about it is that it is actually a uh, dish washer safe which means it should be able to handle the temperatures it's quite thick but um, not as thick as the uh, smack design came with this lid and sort of clamping system and you know I tried everything but I couldn't get a proper seal so I resulted in buying the standard sort of drain pipe fitting uh, it actually fits on the inside which means the inside is uh, just over a hundred mil and the good thing about the drain fittings are you can get a nice cap with an o-ring in it um, I've fitted a few garden type fittings there and some stainless steel bolts which I will attach to the top of the unit um, I've put some o-rings in between the fittings but I'll probably give the inside of these fittings a bit of a, a coat with um, some silicon. Similarly all I did was uh, apply silicon and push this fitting on. I cut it down a little bit so you could see a bit more of the cell when it's working. So hopefully that should be uh, enough to get this thing going um, originally as a, as a first go and uh, you know, we'll take it from there. Okay, I just wanted to show you the plate arrangement. As I was saying before, there are 16 plates. These plates are actually 20 thou titanium. Um, you can see there they've been conditioning now for about four hours. I started off at about one amp, um, took it up very slowly and it's been going at around between 7 and 10 amps now for around about two hours so you can see the effect it's had with the yellow sort of tinge um, mainly noticeable on the stainless steel nuts but you can see some covering on the plates also I'm not really sure about the arrangement here there seem to be a lot of gas generated in this area around the nuts. Um, whether it's worth attaching the straps onto the plates as per the smack design, um, similarly on the bottom. I'm not really sure what effect that would have. I mean, theoretically, they've got the same potential, there shouldn't be any reaction between the strap and the plate. Um, but it seems to be something going on there. Anyway, that's it for the first video. I'll continue on with a bit more conditioning tomorrow. And hopefully I can put it in its container and, you know, drill some holes and um, get it going.